Space is a $300 billion industry worldwide. NASA is actually a tiny percent of that. Interesting how small a percent NASA is to the total world spending of space. That little bit, however, is what inspires dreams. Every corporation in here with representatives to this conference, if you ever even touched a science mission, you lead off with that in your quarterly reports, in your annual reports. Because it inspires, it is the act of discovery that empowers nations and the world to undertake these activities. We know this. Apollo 8, that was the first time anybody ever left Earth with a destination in mind. Yeah, it figurated around the moon. Photo of Earth rising over the lunar landscape. We all know it. Earth rise over the moon. There was Earth, seen not as the map maker would have you identify it. No, the countries were not color coded with boundaries. It was seen as nature intended it to be viewed. Oceans, land, clouds. We went to the moon and we discovered Earth. I claim we discovered Earth for the first time. How does that affect culture? I got a list. The instant that photo comes out, that is the identifying cover picture of the whole Earth catalog. Thinking about Earth as a whole, not as a place where nations war, as a whole. 1970, the Comprehensive Clean Air Act is passed. Earth Day was birthed March 1970. The Environmental Protection Agency was founded in 1970. The organization Doctors Without Borders was founded in 1971. Where do you even get that phrase from? No one thought of that phrase before that photo was published. Because every globe in your classroom has countries painted on it. DDT gets banned in 1972. We're still going to the moon. We're still looking back to Earth. Clean Water Act, 1971, 1972, Endangered Species Act. The catalytic converter gets put in in 1973. Unleaded gas, 1973. We're still at war in Vietnam. There's still campus unrest. Yet we found the time to start thinking about Earth. That is space operating on our culture and you cannot even put a price on that. That is, that is a nation, that is a world reacting to a new perspective on what it is to be alive on this planet that we all share. We need to look at NASA, not as a handout, but as an investment. Because as goes the health of spacefaring ambitions, so too goes the spiritual, the emotional, the intellectual, the creative, and the economic ambitions of a nation. So goes the future of America.